Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you. I keep pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Back with another lesson. And today's lesson is prompted by an article came across. <laughs> and the title is uh, Donald Trump claims he will never allow creation of CBDC, which stands for Central Bank Digital Currency. It says in the U.S. if reelected. So that Donald Trump is nothing more than more false hope. <laughs> right. More false hope. You know, he's a controlled opposition. He's set up to make people think that, hey, he's fighting for the little guy. And, you know, that's what they pushed the first time. Uh, that he's going to build a wall. He's going to keep the immigrants out. He's going to stop the CBDCs. He's going to correct the economy. When <laughs> this guy is nothing more, like I said, a control pop, uh, opposition. He's set up to be that great white uh, hype, great white hope that's going to get uh, rejected because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has already deemed that uh, Mystery Babylon, a.k.a. America, is is got to be destroyed. So whether it's this guy or Sleepy Joe, these prophecies are going to keep on popping off, man. And this guy is going to jump when the elites tell him hey, what needs to be done next, man, regardless of whatever he's saying on this damn, uh, this damn campaign run. Uh, but anyway, you can really go back and read through the article. It's just talking about how he swears that he's going to uh, stop the central banks and not allow for digital currency and he's going to do this that and the other which we know he goes to those uh i think he was there last year he might have went this year the world economic world economic forum right he he was sitting or sitting there right next to biden man so these guys are all in on the on the gag <laughs> of making you think that you really got a choice but the first scripture i'm gonna get uh, dealing with this because these damn Americans, man, it's so simple as hell that uh, I don't see why they, they don't just bring the chip, man, and, and just set this thing off. Proverbs 25 and 19. It says, Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. So this is where a lot of people's confidence lies in, oh, get out and vote, uh, change the system, do this, that, and the other. When the only way to change the system is going to come via uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and salvation, man. Him coming back, him tearing down this, uh, this, this, this Edomite kingdom and uplifting the kingdom of Israel. That's when you're going to see real change and <laughs> change you can believe in. You know, all these damn slogans and promises and bullshit just to pacify the populace. But the scriptures they get down to the nitty gritty, man. It tells you in the, in, the, in the books of Ezra how they're, they're no longer going to regard their, their kings and princes, meaning they're, they're this modern day kings and princes as leaders, politicians. And that time is coming. The people's going to realize, hey, we've been lied to. We've been had. And that's when you're going to see uh, the politicians come in with that hammer, man. Uh, what else I got? This is not going to be long. Jeremiah chapter two, verse thirty six. It says, why gaddest thou about so much to change thy way? Thou also shall be ashamed of Egypt as thou was ashamed of Assyria. And I was talking to a simple Jake. He knew a little bit the other day at, uh, at, my, at my job, actually at one of my stops. There was another uh, truck driver. He was telling me about, he was complaining about the, uh, what's going on with the immigration and uh, how the system is messed up and how he believes Trump is going to get in there, get in there and do some stuff. <laughs> so he was simple after all, but he, he knew a little bit about what was going on. He knew about the, the automation that's coming, how the jobs are going to get taken away, how they're going to bring in a lot of these Northern Kingdom tribes and displace the wages. All right. Because they want to uh, get cheap labor. So he knew a little bit, but ultimately he still had confidence in the system. Right. This is verse 37. It says, Yea, thou shalt go forth from him and thine hand upon thy head, for the Lord have rejected thy confidences, and thou shalt not prosper in them. So when you don't have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai as your foundation and your rock and your center, all these other things are, are bound, to, bound to fail, man. There is no other way. Okay? 
The only way out of this judgment is through the uh, Savior, man. Yahweh Shai. Okay? And if you don't have him, man, hey, that's your ass, man. <laughs> voting for Trump, voting for uh, Sleepy Joe or whoever come along, is not going to get America <laughs> out of this out of this judgment, man. Okay? It's not going to do it. So these people that, that, that have that hope, man, is false hope. Uh, let's see what else I got. Let's end it in Romans. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Right? It says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of the Most High. For the powers that be are ordained of the Most High. So man's goings are of the Lord, man. The Lord put the Spirit on these people to be this, to do that, set them up in positions. Because ultimately the Lord wants his will uh, and his judgment pushed out in the earth and he does that does that via people man okay this free will and i'm a do no man <laughs> hey the lord is in control okay he gives you the illusion of so-called choice but ultimately in the end what the lord has written and what the lord wants to play out will happen verse two who said whosoever there so for resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of the most high and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So you're going to have guys go against, uh, uh, you know, the draconian measures when it come down. Talking about we're going to join armies and do this and really try to overthrow. And we're going to try to do that. You know, all this, you know, all this wishing and hoping and planning. But ultimately, if it's outside of the Lord's will, guess what? You're reaping damnation to yourselves, man. The mark of the beast system is prophesied to come, right? The collapse of these economies is prophesied to come, okay? Seven women to one man is prophesied to come. And just by that prophecy alone, you know it's about to get bad as hell out here. Because women right now are at, at, at the proudest uh, they, they ever been on this earth, man. <laughs> so for that prophecy to come along, which is the end time prophecy, uh, you know it's going to be some real shit in the field going on out here. Uh, verse 3, For the rulers are not terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. Right. Our focus is not about persecution that's coming for us not following this system. Or persecution for, uh, you know, you know, basically going against the so-called grain. It's about, let me stay steadfast and please you. How about you? I was shot. That should be your focus, man. And everything else will fall into place, you know. But that's pretty much the point. I uh, just want to touch on that article. Trump claiming that he's going to do this and do that. <laughs> like I said, nothing but false hope, man. But with that, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom the next time.